Hello everyone, my name is William Reed, don't care what my name is, and this is my review for the mid-season finale of Star Wars Rebels Season 3. Okay, so, how did this mid-season go? I liked it, I, I didn't mind some of the episodes, but some of them didn't really catch my interest much. Some of the ones that did, that I liked a lot, were the ones where we see Maul trying to unite the Jedi and the Sith holocron together. The other one where we see Hera and Thrawn meeting up face-to-face. And the other one where we see the the Separatist droids have returned, the battle droids, which was an homage to the Clone Wars series. So, I liked those episodes. Those were pretty good. And this one, I liked it as well, but I did have some problems with it. Um, in this episode, spoiler alert, by the way, just, just so you know. So in this episode, we see Ezra is being plagued by visions of Maul, where he thinks he's there, but he's not there until, the, until he and Kanan go to see Bendu. Until it is revealed that Maul is on the planet of the rebels, uh, the rebel planet, and that he will reveal the location of the rebels to the Empire unless Ezra goes with him. Ezra agrees, goes with him, while Kanan and Savine follow them. And on the planet of the Night Sisters, yes, they go back there. Uh, Maul takes Ezra into the temple where he wants to perform a ritual where they will be able to complete their uh, their vision. Because when they unite the two holocrons together, it got interrupted. So they didn't get exactly what they were looking for. So Maul performs the ritual. They get to see what they are looking for. The answers they're seeking. And, well, things go bad after that. Because the spirits of the Night Sisters come, are brought back. And they possess the bodies of Kanan and Sabine. Maul takes off. Ezra has to stay behind, save his friends. And that's pretty much how the whole episode went. So, how is it? As I said before, I didn't mind this uh, finale. I just had some problems with it. I think one of my first problems is, well, it's got to be with, you know, Kanan. I mean, why are you continuing letting this guy take your apprentice? Why not just kill him? There's two of you. You can just kill him. The two of you together can just kill him. He's threatening to tell the, the Empire where the rebels are. Just kill the guy. What is he going to do? It's just two on one, and I'm sure Ezra could probably help kill the guy. Unless he can't so uh the other problem i had with this is uh i really wish we saw the return of mother talzin i really was hoping to see that but you know that's, that's fine and i think the other last problem i had is uh what was it oh yeah ezra continuing to tr you know listen to this guy like actually thinking it's a good idea you know I don't know. I just had some problems with that, but those are small problems. Ignore that. Sorry, it's just a, it's just some. It's nothing. So, anyways, uh, those are just minor problems I have with the episode, but they're not like really big issues that I think would ruin this episode. They were still okay. The characters I also liked them most in this episode. I liked Ezra in this episode, but again, he's a little too, uh, just listens to Maul a little too easily. Uh, Sabine and Kanan, I liked them all, so they didn't get to do much in this episode, but I didn't mind them. The one I did like more is Maul. I mean, <laughs> I love the guy. I see, when they return to the Night Sisters uh, uh, home world, and they go inside the temple, we see that Maul's been collecting stuff, a lot of stuff from his past, and we see uh, this portrait, or at least it, what it looks like Maul made a portrait of Duchess Satine, and... All I can think about is, wow, he really is obsessed with Obi-Wan. And when he gets upset with uh, Ezra also, like, I love his... Re his facial reaction and how he sounds when he's uh, when he talks sometimes or, like, sounds disappointed or sounds, like, a little concerned. Like, it's funny. <laughs> it's, it's really funny because this guy was so serious in the f fourth and fifth season. So to see him like this, it was like, wow. <laughs> it's, it's very funny. The animation for this also is pretty good. I liked it a lot. Um, also, it was very cool to see the return of the Dark Saber that Maul took from Pre Vizsla. And now Sabine has it. She now has the like, the Dark Saber. And I'm very curious how that's going to go. Because we heard that Bo-Katan is going to be in the Season 3 uh, uh, of the Rebel series. Sorry about that. Uh, so, I guess we might see her, Sabine with the Dark Saber. And how... Maybe it will help free her people, or maybe even free her clan from the Empire. So, I don't know. It'll be very curious to see. And there's a lot of rumors going around. Is Bo-Katan, uh, you know, is she Sabine's mother? 
I don't know if she is. I want to know. But if not, fine. But still, I'm very much looking forward to it, and hopefully it goes well. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Season 3 so far has been going well. I do have some problems with it, but it's still a good season. And very curious to see what's going to happen. Because the next episode is entitled Ghosts of Geonosis. So, okay, so we're probably going to have the Geonosians return, or at least... Maybe one of them, because we know they were wiped out by the Empire, so we're going to see what happens. So, hey, maybe we might even see Ahsoka return, and even Barris, because we know she's not dead. Okay, let's be honest. She's not dead. They showed a, uh, those arts that they did of her going through the Sith Temple, so she's probably alive. So, uh, that's it, everybody. If you have a different opinion about this mid-season finale or any of the other episodes, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my Facebook page, and I'll be here next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.